Hey guys, Katie here, and today we're going to discuss the menstrual cycle and the moon cycle. So understanding the connection between the moon cycle and the menstrual cycle, how you can sync the two of them, and how you can use it as a tool to help balance your hormones. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Katie. I am a hormone and wellness coach. I'm a facial reflexologist, and I'm a Qigong student. Here I teach you all things health, wellness, clean living, and how to reconnect with your mind, body, and spirit. Why would you want to sync your menstrual cycle with the moon cycle? I know for me and for a lot of my clients, a big reason is because you struggle from amenorrhea or you have really irregular absent periods. Um, so if you want to cycle sync, so if you don't know about cycle syncing, I do have a video all about that, about the four phases of your menstrual cycle, um, going a into a little bit more detail. But if you don't have a period, it's really hard to understand where you want to begin cycle syncing. So that was the issue with me. I really wanted to kind of understand my body, support my body as much as possible, but I didn't really have a place to start. So going with the moon cycle really helped me so that I could start cycle syncing, get my body back in a rhythm. So if you go off the moon cycle, you can kind of just start to reprogram your body, get kind of better in tune with your energy um, so that you can start to heal your hormones and start to balance things naturally. Another awesome reason why to connect your menstrual cycle with the moon cycle is it's just so powerful. Just connecting your energy with that moon energy, um, just connects you with nature, just connecting nature to your body, it just kind of gives you a whole new understanding of what's happening inside you. And like I said, it's just so, so powerful. First, to look at the similarities. So our menstrual cycle lasts about 28 days on average. Um, some people's longer, some people shorter, but on average, it's about 28 days. The moon cycle as well lasts about 28 days. So you can see hand in hand, the cycle lengths are about the same. Both cycles have four phases. So the menstrual cycle, we have the menstrual, the follicular, the ovulatory, and the luteal phase. And then on the moon cycle, we have the new moon, the waning, the waxing, and the full moon. So each phase is going to correspond with one another. So in your moon cycle, your new moon or your dark moon, so this is when you do not see any moon in the sky, is going to correspond with your menstrual cycle. So this is going to be your bleeding phase. From the moon cycle, this is the time when the moon is dark, it doesn't want to be seen, it's kind of hidden away. Um, if you look at your menstrual cycle, this is the part of your cycle where you're looking inward a little bit, you're kind of reflecting, you don't really want to go out too much, you really want time to yourself, um, you don't really want to be seen. If you um, have a lot of events, you kind of dread going to them. This is a time where you just really want to be by yourself and kind of left alone. This is also part of your cycle where you're shedding that uterine lining, so you're letting go of things that no longer serve you. Um, it's also a time where you just really want to rest, um, you just want to restore your body um, as it starts to rebuild that lining. So preparing your body for what's to come. But it's really a time to be inward, um, reflective, just really kind of give yourself that rest that you need. So then the moon goes to the waxing phase. So this is where you're going to see just a half moon in the sky. And this is also going to be reflective of your follicular phase. So this is when you're starting to want to be seen a little bit more. You're starting to feel like you're getting more energy. Um, all of that work and that rest that you did during the menstrual phase. Um, it's starting to come into fruition, you're starting to, um, all the things that you let go of, you can start bringing in new energy, new ideas, and just kind of feeling more confident in yourself, um, and just feeling more recharged and more alive. So all this is going to lead to your ovulatory phase, which is going to be your full moon. So this is when the moon is the biggest, the brightest in the sky, it really wants to be seen. Um, so you should notice during your ovulatory phase that you feel really confident in yourself, you feel really good in your own skin, you really um, have a lot of energy, you want to be going out and doing stuff, you're feeling really extroverted, so you want to talk to a lot of people, um, do the things that you never usually feel like doing, you just have that passion and that desire to do more. Um, so this is going to be the full moon. So you're just feeling bright, you're feeling good, you want to be seen. Then things start to calm down a little bit, you start going back into the luteal phase, the hormones start to drop a little bit, this is going to be the waning um, phase of the moon, so it's going to start going back into the half moon again. Um, and this is where you're going to start to reflect on everything that you did. Um, you want to get a lot of projects and stuff done. Um, start cleaning and tidying, getting everything ready for that menstrual, that menstrual phase where you're going to start to kind of go inward a bit. So just kind of preparing everything for that phase. But you'll notice a drop in your energy. Um, you'll still want to go out a bit, but not quite as much. This is where you're going to notice some of your PMS symptoms starting to occur. Um, so it's just a big shift in the hormones, um, and you'll start to want to be a little bit more inward again. So that's just a quick explanation of how the moon cycles and menstrual cycles correspond or go hand in hand. Um, like I said, this played a huge role for me whenever I was struggling all those years without a period. So I went you know, three years at a time without a period. 
and I really wanted to cycle sync. So for me, I would just look up at the sky. If there was no moon at all, I knew I was in my menstrual cycle. I would start eating nutrient-dense food, iron-rich food. I would make sure the foods were warming and comforting to my body. I would rest. I would try to stay in a little bit more, um, just give my body what it would need during that time, and I would just continue like that as I saw the moon change. Um, I'll tell you, I did start noticing even before I got my period back. I was able to get my period back, and it's from various things, and I'll do a video on that as well. But I would start noticing that I would get like a change in my energy. I would feel more confident, and I would look up at the sky, and sure enough, there would be a full moon. So I would notice the change in my body, and sure enough, it would correspond with the moon. Um, so it was a huge, it did play a huge role for me um, in just kind of knowing where my body was and knowing how to take care of my body and connect with my body the way I needed to whenever I didn't really have that guide of my period to let me know where I was. I hope you guys found that video helpful. Um, like I said, I will link my video explaining more in more detail the four phases of the menstrual cycle. So if you're not too sure on those, you can watch that video to learn a little bit more. Um, that's just a great way to just, like I said, connect your body to uh, Mother Nature and also to help guide you if you are having absent or irregular periods. So, hope you guys found that helpful and I will be sure to post more videos like this soon. Bye!